Along stretches of the Mississippi, not far from the Gateway Arch, it's colorful sights signifying a staple in St. Louis. Any, anything within the art realm, I'm always going to be curious about. Graffiti is what had Eddie Rivera filling stretches of the flood wall downtown. Graffiti is one of the longest running art movements now in the history of the U.S. Since the late 60s, early 70s, it's been an expression of art used to capitalize on creative expressions. A form Rivera says wasn't always accepted in the art world. Outlaw and artists, I think, you know, and they kind of do. And, and, you know, the graffiti world is kind of like the most obvious, like, example about that. As it's evolved, so has the 30-year graffiti artist, bringing an 80s horror film classic to the city. Uh, this particular piece is uh, inspired by um, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing. From hidden messages behind Ben Franklin on the $100 bill to life-size murals of Wolverine. Graffiti, you, you see it in all aspects of, of society and pop culture now. Difficult to master due to precision needed in aerosol spraying. It's the visuals and vibrancy drawing many in. Spray paint really helps with that gassy, airy kind of look um, that has kind of uh, presents as magical. Hundreds of artists filled the four mile stretch flood wall to show some skills. Artists from all over the country, including Canada and Germany and Mexico are here to beautify the flood wall. What drew them in? The long standing history of Paint Lewis. Paint Lewis was one of the first graffiti festivals and now there's graffiti festivals at least one a year in every city across the US. Almost three generations in the making. It's what the artists are putting out. They hope others take in. We put our heart and soul into these walls. In downtown St. Louis, Callista Matrician, News 11.